I was 13 years, and then all my life started to change to the bad way. Uh, in the beginning, I was shocked. I didn't believe that my dad is passed away. So when the father is dead, everything is dead for the family, I think. The father uh, do, uh, does everything for the family, and even the emotional things. When you have a father, he can protect you, he can advise you. He can uh, say to you, this right, this wrong. In my country, I didn't feel like I am a human. It was, uh, there is no freedom. Uh, all the people, they will judge you, what you will wear, how you will make your hair. When the war starts, it was more difficult, more sad. You can hear the bombs, you can hear the shots, you can hear the people screaming. You can smell the death. I saw lots of things, dead people on the street. I saw blood. I saw people running away, people scared, people losing, lost their children. A woman lost her man. Lots of bad things. You don't know if you are going out of your house, you will come back or not. I left Syria, I didn't tell my mom the same day. I told her the second day because I was uh, afraid that she will feel uh, stressed or she will uh, think too much about what will happen with me. But uh, suddenly in the morning, uh, like four in the morning, I decided to leave Syria. Before I left Syria, I had the camera and the uh, military guy, he had like something to check if you have uh, electric uh, things in the car, or bombs or something like this. Because I was afraid, if I said he will take me, what are you doing with this camera? Why you have this camera? Why you want to take it with you to Lebanon? So I, avoid, I wanted to avoid that, so I put the camera next to my leg and I put my bag on it. We arrived to Azmir and then I was shocked because I saw 100 people for three rubber boats. And uh, the smugglers, uh, he, start, he has a gun and he starts to push the people because he wants the people to leave uh, quickly because of the police, uh, Turkish, uh, Turkish police. So there is three boats. The first boat uh, was uh, the people came in and uh, they uh, drive a bit and then the boat stopped because of the motor. So the people, they ran out, uh, of, ran away uh, from this boat to the other bo uh, boats. And my, I, I was with my friends, and my, uh, one of my friends, he held my hand and he uh, pulled me. I said to him, no, I will not go in this uh, rubber boat because it, the motor is not working. Imagine that uh, we are in the sea, in the middle of the sea, and suddenly stop or something happened. He said to me, come, come. He pulled me and uh, we went in the boat. When I talk about it, I feel it until now. Uh, it makes me feel sad, scared, because I was young to, uh, to live this experience. I, I, I was always thinking about the death. I was sitting with my friends next to the train, and uh, there is a military guy uh, he, the, he, he let the people go. So he said, come, uh, run, run, run for the people. So all my friends, they run. When I came on the board, and he said, stop, you cannot go anymore because the train is full. And all my money, all my documents, all my documents, all my uh, papers is with my friends because I didn't have pockets. I just have the letter. I had my jacket and I put, I, make a, like a small hole here to put my money. But I didn't have anything that moment. And then after that, my two of my friends, they asked the UN lady to go back to me. We, they came back to me and we went uh, in bus. We ran away to have better life. In this situation, I don't think you have choice to... You cannot decide what to do. It's better for you as a human 
Because you are a human, you will run away. Because you want to feel safe. You don't want to die. It was like a dream for me. Because I didn't believe that I arrived after 14 days. So I start to cry. So here, I live as I want. I like uh, to take care about plants, animals. I like to play the piano. And sometimes I like to go out in the night for a walk. In Syria, in the situation of the war, you cannot do that, never. We stayed in the house for a few days without going out. Even if I am refugee, refugee I have uh, a life. I am human. I want to live my life. I have the right to do that. What would you do if you were in my situation? 